Hi guys, it's Chris here from Some Bloke Who Travels A Lot and today we are in Amsterdam more specifically at the new Tribe City Hotel. Now whether you're visiting Amsterdam to take in, explore the canals and the Amstel, soak up some culture in the museum district, both of which I recommend, or just explore this unique city, you're going to need somewhere to stay. Might I suggest the new kid on the block, Tribe by Accor Hotels. Now this is the latest brand to the Accor group and is a lot more than the design concept, though I quote, the Tribe brand is designed to be vibrant and aspirational. With our spaces lovable and supremely functional, we express a new definition of affordable luxury at every opportunity. An intelligent and tasteful approach creates a desirable environment. Now I guess all that's true, but to me it's simply a very good hotel in an affordable price bracket. And for the best price, I put a link in the description to book direct with the hotel. So, let me show you around. Tribe is located in the north of the city, but as its next door neighbour but one is the Nord Metro, it's only two stops to Amsterdam Central. It takes less than 10 minutes. And armed with an Amsterdam travel pass, I found getting around the city from Tribe very easy and very quick, 10-15 minutes to any destination I wanted to go to. Now, it's described as an up and coming area, but I found it to be up already. The street was modern, it was very clean, as also was the metro. Inside the hotel, we're greeted with a pretty unique reception area, which is better viewed from above, and we are greeted. The reception team were great, friendly and efficient, even if they have to endure one of my pet hates, the modern tablet check-in. Now, up that impressive staircase, or using the discreetly placed lifts, we find ourselves on the first floor. There's a small kiosk, which makes available all those goodies and essentials required, along with tribe merchandise. I kid you not, I did, only for, only for a split second, toy with the idea of buying a t-shirt or a cap. Then we come to the bar and open plan communal area, including the breakfast area at the rear. More on the breakfast later. We have the room and the gym to explore first. Work up an appetite, as they say. Was the space aspirational? No, not really. Was it supremely functional? Perhaps. Was the space lovable? You know what, it actually was. Starting of course with the staff. I was served pizza by a very friendly Italian who assured me the pizza was good, after all he was from Italy. And it was. Now I should point out that although the tribe serves an excellent breakfast, there's no restaurant. However, they do have the pizza offering from the bar, which if you don't trust my Italian friend, I can assure you was pretty good. Not amazing, but nevertheless a good simple supper. Now back to the lovable space. Although it's completely open plan, the layout and a few clever features meant there were plenty of spaces to choose to be more private. Areas for small groups, practical areas for work, and of course the larger areas to sit in the mix of it all. On arrival I ignored them all and went straight to my room. straight in with our modern technology that uh, do not disturb is an LED touchpad has that uh, very simple lock uh, yeah that actually does look like it'd be very tricky to, uh, to flick open first design I've seen like that and we also have a double locking door. Standard key is required for electricity, aircon, etc, etc, etc. I'm not a fan of using the hack of putting any old card in these machines. This is a modern one, it's probably RFID'd. I'll let you know on the screen if it is. But 
The thing is, you get a lot of people posting on social media about putting any card in these to keep your electric switched on, and keep your aircon on all day. And then three posts later, they're talking about their green credentials. And it's like, they think they're so clever telling the world to, you know, keep the air conditioning running if you, if you want your room to be cool. If you want your room to be cool and you want to save the planet, just shut the curtains when you go out in the morning. That way your room will be cool when you get back. Anyway, rant over. Right, what else have we got here? We have got some co hooks. We have got the first PowerPoint. We have got somebody telling me I look great, you are great. Well, thank you very much, I know I am. There's the full length mirror, which of course, as per normal, I will bypass. And we've got, like the rest of the hotel, funky image. Hang on a second, is that, is that the new thing? I don't know. Weird. Right, side of the bed. PowerPoints. So we're in a brand new hotel. Ah, oh, there they are. The USB is there. I was thinking, how can we not have a USB port? Slightly funky bedside table. And yeah, funky bed. I'll have a look at that in a second. And we have an armchair. A bit of neon. Another. PowerPoint by the side of the bed with USB, reading lamp. Right, let's have a closer look at this bed. Plenty of cushions. <laughs> yep. And everything in this room smells fresh, clean, light, and airy. And it's a good bed. Every hotel I've stayed at in Amsterdam so far. It's what I want, a bit of firmness but comfort, and our pillows, I've got some give in them, yeah, it's all good, it's all good, good night's sleep ahead in this room, I really am, it's got a lovely feel to it, you know, I sort of, I thought that when I was looking at the details of the tribe, I thought it might be one of those places that's a little design over substance, uh, here we have got the first I have seen a USB-C charging point. How cool is that? And a standard USB. I've often thought that at some point someone's going to have to bring in USB-C. And this is the first hotel. Well done, Tribe. There you go. Uh, a couple of power points there. And we have, I've got a fluffy bedrobe. So I think this this is their standard room because there was only one room to book and it's there it is a pleasure to have handwritten what a nice touch with all this modern technology somebody took the time to get a pen and paper out pleasure to welcome you to try Amsterdam City Hotel we trust that you have an enjoyable stay with us if there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable please do not hesitate to let us know we hope you enjoy these typical Dutch cookies warm regards Dutch cookies translates as mum's holiday present there you go. Um, I don't think this is for everyone. I, I've, I hold a diamond card with core, so that's we normally get a little gift. Uh, an espresso coffee, little machine, kettle. We've got Assam. We've got English breakfast tea, and we have an automated light. How cool is that? A to Z facts of the hotel. We have got breakfast served. There's no restaurant, but apparently I can have pizza in the bar. And depending on how I get on this afternoon, I might just do that. There you go. And it's complimentary Wi-Fi. I'll do a test of that and put that up on the screen. We have a good safe laptop side. It's quite large, and that ain't going anywhere. That's nice and solid fitted. And we have a fridge. This bottle of water in the fridge is free of charge. There you go. So, last but not least, let's go and check out the bathroom. Okay, here's our bathroom, our shower room, fluffy towels, 
more fluffy towels. Look at that rainfall shower. I'm loving this colour. It's sort of, I don't know, it's cool, isn't it? I like that. Uh, lots of smell is. Hydrate me, hand and body wash, conditioner, shampoo. I do like the bottles because I do tend to take them home, but I get why these are here. It's all about waste and saving the planet, and I, I do agree with that. But I kind of like filling up my drawer at home. Uh, sink, hand wash, uh, body lotion, more towels, tissues, glass, bin, shaver plug, big huge mirror, piece of art, and lovely clean toilet. Excellent. Can't fault this place at all. Very, very impressed with the tribe. All in all, I have to say, it's a great hotel. Today, the hotel is currently 126 euros a night. But let me put that into context. The basic Ibis in Amsterdam tonight is 203 euros. The cheapest room at the Hilton is 300 euros. Holiday Inn Express is 130 euros. And of course, the soft hotels, giving their rooms away at 600 euros a night. The staff were great, very friendly, and I felt very welcome. The hotel itself, well, it's certainly not a budget hotel. It really is at the very top end of mid-range. I really do think Tribe is a great addition to the Accor brand. And I'll certainly be looking out for the Tribe hotels on future trips. Now, I hope you liked the video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up. It's most appreciated. I publish a new hotel video every week, and sometimes two. So please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you ring the bell, YouTube will notify you when I publish a new review. Thank you so much for watching, and happy travels.